Hey, how y'all doing out there? This is Easy Work Boxing. About to hit you everywhere, but under your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what time it is. I got to hit you with that good boxing talk, baby. You know what time it is. Got to give a shout out to Jamal, Jamil, shall I say, Harry, you know, against uh, Carl Frampton. You know, I told y'all what was going to happen. You know, I told y'all what was going to happen as usual. You know, if you want that real deal, non biased talk, you want the right, you know, Prediction for a fight, y'all need to holler at your boy Easy Work Boxing. Uh, Jamal, Jamal Heron basically walked through him like I predicted. Uh, I told people that, you know, Carl Frampton is a combination puncher. He's an aggressive fighter, and that's mostly his game plan. Um, he is really not that much of a boxer because he's too much of a small fighter. Uh, no really reach, no, you know what I'm saying, no really advantages, you know, no real power or anything. So, I told people that, you know, if you go back and check, well, I don't think I did an official prediction video for this fight, but I actually told people that, you know, Jamel basically had Frampton because Frampton is a combination punch. He has to stand close in order to get off. And Jamel, you know, showed you that distance is a key in being Frampton. Um, as far as Frampton retiring, you know, I can't say whether or not he should retire, but I will say this is that, you know, if um, Heron did that to you, I can imagine what Tank could could do to you and many other 130 pounders, or possibly even a given Gary Russell Jr. moving up to 130 pounds and fighting. Um, it'll be a different fight against Gary Russell Jr. because they're both smaller fighters. You know, uh, not that much reach. It will look totally different. But if somebody has a different reach, a long reach against um Frampton you can basically outbox and beat Frampton like Shakur Stevenson Shakur Stevenson would have knocked out Frampton too I'm just being real with y'all Shakur probably would have did him worse Shakur, Shakur probably would have knocked him out in the first second round to be honest with you and it takes nothing away from Frampton Frampton's just a small guy not that much reach not that much power he can box, he can fight, and I'm taking nothing away from him. It's just that from that size, he really can't do that much to um, a big 130 pound. So, you know, you can't say, well, me personally, now that I think about it, yes, he should retire. Frampton then gave us his all, you know, especially to the UK fans over there, you know. He's accomplished what he's, he's been a champion before, the, the dream of all young boxers, I'm guessing. So, you know, uh, yeah, he can retire, man. You know, take that money and run off into the sunset, man. Live good and enjoy life, you know. Shout out to uh, Carl and Frank. We really can't say Shakur has failed or fisted right now, Silver Surfer, because Shakur Stevenson is still growing up. He hasn't made that grown man stroke yet. You know, at one point, Devin Haney was considered Feather fisted until Devin Haney started getting a little older and his power came. So we can't really say that right now, but I can't agree with you. You know, um, we haven't seen any like Devin stay knocking. We haven't seen any devastating knockouts from Shakur Stevenson. So I understand, you know what I'm saying, what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? And I totally feel what you're saying. I just think it's just because he hasn't gotten to his grown man strength yet. You know, that uh, that's a reason why. Also, uh, I got to go in on the Chavo brothers. Y'all ready? Because y'all know when easy go in, I go in. I got to talk about the Chavo brothers. Lord, have mercy. If this ain't the most ducking shit ever in boxing. If this ain't the most ducking shit ever in boxing. I'm going to take y'all back. I'm going to take y'all on a little ride right quick. A little roller coaster ride. You understand me? There was once upon a time where Demetrius Andrade was finna fight one of the Chalo brothers. If I ain't mistaken, it was Jamel.
they were going to pay Jamil more than they were going to pay Demetrius Andrade. And Demetrius Andrade had the title, which means he was the champion. They were going to pay the Charlo brother, Jamil, more than the champion. Demetrius Andrade pulled out. Now, during this time, Demetrius Andrade going through contract situations, you know, with Rock Nation or whoever else, I don't know. But now, right now, he's with the zone. He got money behind him. They have offered Jamal $7 million before. He backed out. He didn't want that. Now they have the audacity to get on the internet and start saying that Demetrius Andrade is blacklisted. This is something new in boxing. I've never heard of fighters. This is a new wave of ducking. This is a new wave of ducking. Demetrius Andrade is blacklisted. And you know what the sad part about this is? Is that it's Lions only fans that's going to actually sit up here and condone that bullshit. Oh, yeah, man. Fuck Demetrius Andrade. Who Demetrius Andrade that fought? When Demetrius Andrade ever been on pay-per-view? When Demetrius Andrade ever did this and did that and did that? How he going to ever do it when your uh, coward ass lying on the fan, when your coward ass lying on the boxer Seneca saying that he's blacklisted? How can you blacklist a boxer, your competition? How can you be in the same weight class with another fighter and say he's blacklisted? That's just straight ducking. But you got to remember, oh, these are the same guys that said, oh, Jamal said, oh, he wasn't going to fight nobody who was under 25 years old, meaning he wasn't going to fight David Benavidez. But then when you go in on the lines only, the Charlo brothers, people act like you just hating on them. The Charlo brothers only want to fight fights that they know they can win. See, the reason they're calling out Triple G's and all this and all that right now is because that's the only people who people are looking for them to fight. When you see, see, that's why they haven't had a fight. You see, the next time you see Jamal Charlo fight, you're going to see him fight a nobody or somebody he can beat. But he's going to call out everybody who has a big name. Canelo, David Benavidez, Demetrius Andrade, and then he's going to get a nail fight. Jake Bennett, Tommy, Tommy Sosa, James Joplin. You see what I'm saying? He's going to get out there and fight somebody out there. It's only to bring, you know, notoriety. Notoriety and attention to the name. They're not going to fight Demetrius Andrade. See, they know right now, look, that's the best reason to duck because he know that's the best fight for him. So what's better than come out there and dog and trash Demetrius Andrade? You know what I'm saying? Because you are the more the more known fighter. I will admit that you are the more known fighter. So you go out there first publicly and trash his name, degrade him. So when people say, why is it that you won't fight him? You give up bullshit excuses. But... People who have been in boxing for years and are real boxing fans know and understand that Jamal has been ducking. Him and his brother have been ducking Demetrius Andrade since 154. And now the walls are closing in on them. So what else better to get out there and make a comment of? I mean, just look, what fighter as young as Demetrius? I just think about Jamal Charlo saying that he won't fight David. I won't fight anybody 25 and under. That right there should have told y'all exactly what's going on with the Charlo brothers. You ain't heard Jamel call out Costano yet. I guess he's going to fight a mandatory, huh? Instead of you going to get that one more bill to be undisputed, Jamel, let me guess. Oh, I got a mandatory come up. But guess what? Erickson Lubin was your mandatory for that WBC belt. And guess what? They talking about some... Erickson Lube and got to fight Jason Rosario now to go and get his shot at that title again. But you ain't called out Castano. They full of shit. They go and pick the easiest fights they can and run around talking about some they And to be honest with y'all, I always used to say that, you know, Demetrius Andrade was white glove to Charlo bro. But due to the fact that Demetrius Andrade is a little chinny, I could possibly see something happening in that Charlo probably catching him and knocking him out. He just not he just not willing to fight him. He just that afraid 
to step in the ring and fight this man and he feel he, feel he can lose. So he don't want to fight. He's blacklisted. I mean, I just don't understand it, but you know, people have their different opinions. That's just my opinion, opinion of it. If you feel different, you know, that's what the comment section for. Keith Thurman responds to Danny Garcia 154. Keith Thurman, sit your ass down and shut the fuck up. You my favorite fighter, bro, but you ain't doing nothing but capping. Every month, we got to hear you get on here and talk about who you want to fight, when you going to fight, and we ain't seen you get back in the ring yet. Keith Thurman, get a step up fight, then come holler at us. Nobody want to keep hearing that shit. Let me see. Um, Michael Garcia. Let me see. Well, I don't know what's going on with Mike Garcia. I guess he's trying to find some more fighters to do. Uh, Mike Garcia is going to move up to 154 next. Because it may be somebody at 147 who want to kick his ass. And he's going to run and go take another ass whooping the hide from that. Mike Garcia is a talented fighter. Uh, my Mexican brother. But uh, Mike Garcia is a fucking ducker. And he runs from a lot of fights. If, if you have head movement nine times out of ten and you are defensive and you can move around the ring, Mike Garcia is not going to fight you. If you can move around the ring and you have head movement, he is not going to fight you. Let me see what's going on with Regis Pobre. You know, Regis Pobre is on his um, Javante Tank Davis, which we haven't heard anything since from um, Javante Davis since he got into this little, you know, um, fender bender situation. I don't know what's happening behind that. You know, they're saying that uh, Tank will possibly fight in June, but I don't understand how he will be able to fight in June if he may potentially be locked up. And happen to the young man. I hope this all blows away. You know, and if you watch my other videos, nine times out of ten, it will blow away and we will see Tank in the ring soon. But I wanted Tank to fight Oscar Valdez for his uh, WBC title. But Jamel Heron is on his way to doing that because um, I feel that Oscar Valdez may be too much of a threat for Javante Tank Davis. And I think that Floyd Mayweather and his team may feel the same way. And unfortunately, we won't see Tank prove to us that he is Floyd Mayweather's protege. You know, everybody's trying to be Floyd Mayweather's protege. We have Devin Haney, you know, um, but nobody is yet to go out there and prove. Because the first thing that they are mistaken is that they already surpassed the uh, fights. Floyd showed that he was uh, the real deal when he was 17 and 0 fighting Gennaro Hernandez. Um, Devin Haney is almost 26 and 0 with no real names. Yeah, I, mean, I just gotta say that. Uh, uh, Tank, uh, Gamboa, Leo Santa Cruz, if you want to consider them names, which they are names, but if you want to consider the situations of those names, then hey, you do that. But me personally, on Easy Work Boxing, which I'm not biased and I don't kiss ass, um, one fighter was smaller and one fighter was down there 60 years old with a leg injury. So, you know, you take that how you want to take it. You know, and, uh, that's just how it is, you know, in the sport box. Also, you know, like I always, I talked about Andrew Ruiz and Chris Ariola talking about some Nathan and do some pay-per-view. I don't know who the fuck thought of that, but y'all need to quit playing with us boxing fans and we getting sick and tired of that shit. I don't know who thought that Chris Ariola versus Sandra Ruiz was worth some pay-per-view money, but y'all need to quit smoking crack in them damn back offices because don't nobody want to pay for that. Uh, Pigeon Mike, I ain't got time for your bullshit tonight. <laughs> uh, let me see what else we're talking about. Uh, Tyson Fury versus AJ. Let's talk about that, y'all. Tyson Fury versus motherfucking AJ. Huh? People are already talking about who's going to win this, who's going to win that. I'm telling y'all already, Tyson Fury is going to outbox the fuck out of AJ. 
Uh, Tyson Fury is going to outbox the fuck out of AJ. I'm going to make him look like he ain't deserving of being in the ring with Tyson Fury. You understand me? When I tell y'all ain't nobody talking about racism on this channel, I'm 100 about it. That white boy can fight. That white boy can fight. Now, do I feel he cheated Deontay Wild in that first fight? No. I feel he outboxed Deontay Wild. I seen no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I seen him cheating with the gloves. I seen him cheating with the gloves. Wild was supposed to win that fight anyway, because he stood up on the standing 10 count. But that Wilder was getting out box that fight. Now that second fight, it looked like Wilder just clearly got his ass beat to me. And I think he's gonna do the same thing to AJ. One thing people are not paying attention to, you thinking about the fact that AJ is beat Dylan White's and all these other fighters. But Tyson Fury is bigger than Dylan White and all them other fighters. And then you go into your mind, you're gonna say, well, Klitschko was too. But Tyson Fury ain't no damn Klitschko. You got to remember Tyson Fury beat up Cliff Scott. And you can want to come in and say whatever excuse, steroids, whatever. Cliff Scott got his ass with him. Now you got to remember this was a young AJ going toe to toe and going into a war with an old Cliff Scott. So how the fuck do y'all feel that a, old, a young AJ who got had a war with an old Cliff Scott is going to come out there and whoop on the motherfucking a nigga like Tyson Fury? You understand me? That white boy can fight. That boy, some that's the white Muhammad Ali. That's white chocolate, baby. Huh? And I'm just gonna tell you the truth. That boy, white chocolate, man. He dripping. He dripping. Defensive can move around the ring. IQ, jab, move, can box. He dripping. That boy gonna be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Just wait and see it. Don't get mad at me. I know I'm black. Yeah, you want me to say, oh, no, nah, Tyson Fury ain't going to be the undisputed champion. No, Tyson Fury ain't going to do it. Fuck you. We keep it real on this channel, 100%. That boy going to be undisputed, man. That boy going to be undisputed, man. Watch, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Like the commercial, the commercial I used to see when I was young. I used to come on. I guarantee you. Yeah, I don't know what time it is. I'm going to give it to you raw and uncut, baby. Raw and uncut. You know, I'm, I'm just uh, exaggerating a little bit, Mango. You know, I'm just saying. The boy, the B, he, for a white boy, the boy, you know, he do his thing. You can't deny that. He got, he got talent, man. He got skills, man. Of course, you know, everybody talking about the Keith Thurman, Manny Pack. I mean, not, well, not Keith Thurman, the Terrence Crawford, Manny Pack, yeah. I just feel sorry for Terrence Crawford because if he should be Manny Pack, yeah, he's not going to get no credit. And then they don't really want him to go out there and get Manny Pack, yeah, up under his belt. Lord forbid he Lord forbid he beat Manny Pacquiao. The Errol Spence fans. Oh. Real boxing fans are not concerned about the A side. We just want to see the fight. I don't care if Terrence Crawford go beat Manny Pacquiao. I'm not gonna get on here and make a video that Terrence Crawford should be the A side because he beat Manny Pacquiao. I don't give a fuck. I just want to see the fight between Crawford versus Spence. I don't give a fuck who the A side, B side, or the Z side. Just make the fucking fight. That's what it boils down to me. Now, Cambosis Jr. versus uh, Teofimo Lopez. Cambosis Jr. is talking a lot of shit. He's doing a lot of shit talking. I think nine times out of ten, Cambosis Jr. is going to get knocked the fuck out, like I said. Um, he keeps talking about his game over and it's an added 135 pounds. Teofimo is supposed to be at 140. Teofimo is going to knock your little motherfucking head off. 
and hurt you. Unless you're going to come in there a bigger fighter than what you are, or you can gain some weight or something. But other than that, I feel like he's going to knock your ass out. Damn, I need a lighter. But y'all, the um, comment section is open, you know. Y'all talk to me, let me know. How you feel, baby? Because I already know. Now, what's up with Arrow Spence versus you? Oh, yeah. Javier Fortuna and Ryan Garcia, they supposed to be fighting this song. I hope y'all know that. Gotta give a shout out to Ryan Garcia if he should stay, you know, step up to the plate and take that fight. You know, Devin Haney didn't want to take it. You don't understand? So, you know, even though I've been complaining about Ryan not taking that fight, you know, still to the, you know, he gonna fight him in this summer. But she be getting all the critical of folks. Destroying scam pack, yeah. Yeah, but he ain't gonna get it. He's not gonna get it. These Ever Spence fans, man, he he can go knock Manny Pacquiao out in the first round. I'm telling you, brother. First thing they're gonna come on here and say is that Manny Pacquiao was old. He 42. Forgetting the fact that he beat well, he did beat beat Keith Thurman two years ago. But you sign that contract, that's your ass. So if you go out there and he is ass whooped by Terrence, he signed the contract. He felt he was good enough in shape to go out there and fight Terrence Crawford. He has ass beat, and that's the end of it. That's just how it goes. Also, I've been seeing videos on Costa Zoo Sons, you know, uh, on Costa Zoo Son. Uh, a lot of y'all don't know who Costa Zoo is, you know, because y'all just came in a boxing, you know. But Costa Zoo, you know, was former um, undisputed champion of the world, you know. <coughs> uh, knocking out Zab Judah. Well, yeah, knocking out Zab Judah. Now his son, Tim Zoo, is boxing. I've been seeing a lot of videos, you know and I'm saying that he be rabbit punching and doing a lot of illegal punches. He looked just like his dad. He looked like he a strong puncher, but you can't be coming in there with that illegal shit, buddy. Don't nobody care who your daddy is. You can't be coming there with that cheap shit, trying to hurt people, punching people in the back of the head. I couldn't be a boxer with that. You hit me with some dirty shit. I'm gonna see you in the parking lot that night, and I ain't talking about to fight your ass. Either. Somebody hit you in the back of your head hard enough, they can kill you, man. And once again, I got to talk about um, Jerron Ennis. I ain't hyped up on Jerron Ennis like everybody else is hyped up on. Uh, he like he a talented fighter. You know, he can switch stances, you know, um, take nothing away from his skills, his ability or anything. But um, this is a guy who just getting a lot of credit for no reason. You know, he cherry pick and they cherry pick the hell out of Sergey Lippinick. Small fighter, not long reach. Tall as you is, as big as you are. They cherry pick him. So I'm, I'm really hoping that Sergey Lippinick go out there and knock uh, Jerron Ennis the hell out. Jerron Ennis should fight Virgil Ortiz next. That should be his next fight. That should be the, in between them, those two should be the fighters that should step up to the plate for the big guys at 147. Um, Jerron Ennis is down to 30 and 0 and ain't fought nobody. Him and Devin Haney are damn near on the same page. This Logan Paul shit, like I said, I'm sick of it. This shit is not entertaining to me. Um, I could care less about this YouTube and ass dude that won't go out there and fight people. What he gonna do is 
he, he gonna fuck around and go out there and get his ass hurt. Playing and I guess he going to see he better not go and do no MMA fight. MMA fight. He better stick to that boxing. Um, look like he a talented fighter though. The Logan brothers, you know what I'm saying? It look like they could fight now, but I take nothing away from. Them, but they are gonna keep fucking around and somebody gonna knock knock their motherfucking uh, brain loose out there. Like they say, it's a lot of things you can play, but you can't play boxing, man. Got to give a shout out to Snoop Dogg. I said this before another video, but I'm happy that Snoop Dogg is, you know, um, and Trilla are involved in boxing right now. We can see a lot of fighting, man. hopefully. Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield. Um, don't really give two fucks. But I guess a lot of people are talking about that, like it's a third fight. It's going to be an exhibition. It's not going to be even a real fucking fight. So I don't see what people really caught up on with that shit. But, you know, to each his own. You know, whatever makes you happy makes me happy. <laughs> Y'all give me one second. I'm going to be right back. Y'all type in some questions. Anybody want to come on the panel, please let me know. You are welcome. But also, what's going on with Deontay Wilder? Where is Deontay Wilder? Who you going to fight next? Oh, we got it, man. Thank you, man. Who is Deontay Wilder going to fight next? Prince Charles, Marin, Andrew Ruiz, anybody. Wilder, you got to come back out here and show up. They count you out, my brother. The Tyson Fury shit is over with. We can no longer talk about that. Erica, how you doing, baby? Thank you for tuning in. Please hit that like button, y'all, as y'all watch. Please hit that like button as y'all watch. Wilder, baby. You got to come back out there, man. You got to go back out there and knock some heads off, man. If it got to be Prince Charles Mon, whoever they put in front. Dillian White. Dillian motherfucking White. That's the fight. That's the fight you need to come back on. Dylan White then called you crackheads. He then called you all type of shit. It's time to go and get Dylan White. He got the interim belt. He got the heavyweight belt, the interim belt. It's time to go see Dylan White. Now, Wilder, true enough, I'm from Alabama. But you know, this boy here, he don't kiss no ass here. And Wild, if you don't go fight Dillian White, then I got to feel that you ducking him. I got to feel that you ducking him, my brother, because you remember when at one point they wanted you to fight Dillian White and you said to them, if he fight Louise Ortiz, ooh. Ooh, I didn't like that. I remember when Floyd Mayweather was supposed to fight Keith Thurman. And he said, if he fight Keith, if he fight Errol Spence, which is how Errol Spence's name got so big is because of Floyd Mayweather, that he would fight. Why is it that fighters are going around holding up other fighters like Bulletproof Vets? Because this is basically what you did with Louise Ortiz. Dillian White wanted to fight you, my brother. He wanted to get at your ass. But you said if you're going to fight Louise Ortiz, which, which Dillian White did not go do. So I can, so let me be real on this. Let me let me state this. Let me state this. I can be real on you not giving him that fight because if you're not willing to go through hell and high water like I went through, then I shouldn't have to fight you. So I understand that, Mister Wilder. Much respect to you, Mister Wilder. I'm not going in on you like that. I can understand what you did. You fought Louise Ortiz. And you knew that all the other heavyweights were ducking. 
Louise Ortiz, and you told him, hey, if you go out there and you fought the guy that I fought, everybody who ducking out there, ducking this guy, then I'll give you a shot. And what did Dillian White do? So, you know, I kind of have to take back the duck part of Deontay White, but at the same time, you can still look at it as a duck. Because why do you care whether or not he'll fight Louise Ortiz or not? He calling you out. He didn't call out Louise Ortiz. Just whoop his ass and get it over with. But, you know, you know how we do on this channel, baby. That's why y'all love Easy Work. That's why y'all love me. Why are they going to fight Orleans when nobody wants to see that? Don't nobody want to see that. We need a we need a, a big name fight. And we need a fight that's a pay per view fight. Now I don't want him to fight Prince Charles Martin. No, but it would no, Quebec and no, uh, he had the picture. Uh, well, it would be Baby Miller. He had the picture for a minute. It really ain't no real names out there besides the upcomers, like, you know, saying use the key heavyweight now, Joe Joyce, um, Daniel Dubois, you know, he can get him another shot at some big, you know. Um, there's a lot of other names down there, you know, uh, newcomers who come in now. And then the newcomers talking a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? And to be not proven yet, but they're talking a lot of shit at heavyweight. I don't really know their names. I know some of them, Michael, some, and, but. I ain't talking about shit. I ain't seen no real heavyweight prospect out there that's really, I could say, besides Joe Joyce. I think Joe Joyce is going to do some, you know what I'm saying, serious in the sport of boxing. I think Joe Joyce, you know, I doubted Joe Joyce. I thought he was a still, you know, guy couldn't move. You know, Joe Joyce is something serious. He, he a different breed of a fighter, man. I will say that, Joe Joyce. I like Joe Joyce. The juggernaut, baby. The juggernaut. Yeah, when I first seen him, you know, I was doing a prediction on the uh, fight between him and Daniel. And I was like, man, Joe Joyce is still, if he's slow, this, that, and the other. And... That boy proved me wrong. One thing about Joe Joyce you got to admire about him, he consistent in the ring. Joe Joyce is not going to stop. Even if you knock, in my opinion, if you knock Joe Joyce down, Joe Joyce is not going to stop coming for you. And that fuck with a fighter mentally. You keep knocking somebody out or you know you hurting somebody and this dude like, you like, God damn. Somebody throw a sludge ham in the ring so I can hit him in his head with his office. He won't stop coming for me. We got Silver Surfer coming to the channel, y'all. Let's welcome Silver Surfer. Well, I don't know what happened. He disappeared. You got to come back, Silver Surfer. I'm sorry. Y'all give me a sec. I'm sorry for the break, y'all, but I am human. I am human. Let's keep it going. Come on, y'all. Let's get on this channel. Let's come on. Let's get high. Please don't let the... I know y'all stimulated. I know y'all stimulated. What's up, bro? You got too much going on in the background. What it do? Hello? Hello? What it do, bro? 
What to do? What's up, Easy? Yeah, what's up? With you? What's going on? Nothing much. This A Town. Talking about baby. Yes, sir. What's happening? Nothing much, man. Just talk. just talking about the state of boxing. What's going on in it? You know, upcoming fights. You know, shout out to Jamel Heron. He just defeated um Carl Friends in the night by stoppage. You know, um, See, you know, just talk about boxing. What's going on in boxing though? Ain't ain't shit. Just a lot of you know what I'm saying Instagram talking. We got the Charlo brother. You know Jamal. He out there saying that they blacklisting um, Demetrius Andrade. They not gonna fight him. Basically, a uh, uh, official blatant duck in front of the public, but nobody's talking about it. Who you say, Jam Jamal or Jamal? Jamal. He basically saying that they're not gonna fight. Oh, uh, you know Andrade. Jamal. Jamal. Yeah, Jamal, he ducking, you know who, Benavidez. Straight, straight. Oh, he already said he's not, he's not going to fight any fighter that's under he, 25 years old. What type of shit is that? Duck, what is that? That's the type of shit it is. Uh, super duck. Mm-hmm. I ain't never heard a fighter say they, they, they brought age into it. <laughs> How you bring your age into it? I'm not going to fight a fighter that's under it. Come on, man. That's like Canelo Alvarez saying he ain't going to fight a Mexican fighter. Why you don't want Why you don't want no Mexican fight? Because he don't want no war. Because, see, he know Mexican fighters yeah. have good shit. We got somebody coming on now. Man, seem Seth like Bud. seem like we can't get no good ass fight though. Nope. Silf Bud. Easy work with with Welcome family. to the channel. Bro. Thank you. Nothing much, you. man. Ain't nothing much. Who is that? You're welcome, man. What's Thank up, you. big bro? What's going on, Femmo? Hey, I'm a, uh, baby. What you want to talk about, my bro? I, I just want to speak on it, man, because that's me right there with the comment up on the screen, bro. Uh I, I I look at it like this, man. Well, as far as Wilder, Wilder, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Wilder is an expensive fighter, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Whatever he do is going to have to be a big move, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's either gonna, he going to have to uh, play play the play the big fight role or a meaningful, a meaningful fight role, or he going uh, to have to just be the company man and just uh, and, and uh and hold down the PBC and uh, and, and uh, fight some of they uh fight some of they no names in the heavyweight division. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's why. That's why I said. You know what I'm saying? The uh, the Kalnaki and the Hellenius fight. I, I believe they're gonna end up fighting again because uh, Kalnaki got uh, knocked out by Hellenius or whatever. And you know they PBC fighters or whatnot. And that's a good little warm up for uh for, for Wilder because you know what I'm saying. You see, you want to see Wilder come back and build his confidence back up. You know what I'm saying? To spark somebody. You know what I'm saying? So I can see him. I can see him you yeah, know what I'm saying, taking on but... taking on one of them cats on regular TV, possibly. But I think I think the Trevor Bryant yep. fight is actually the the more likely fight because Trevor Bryant got the uh, the WBA regular belt. You know what I'm saying? And if he and if he, and he, I, he I, beat I, dude, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. If he if he because you know Trevor Bryant he just he beat uh he beat uh Bermain Severn for that uh you know what I'm saying for that that WBA regular belt and you know what I'm saying that 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 then that give him a like a like opponent right there. You know what I'm saying? So it gives it gives them something to uh it gives it gives people something to look at or whatever. And you know, he ain't no real threat. And it put uh it put it put Wilder right back in contention, you know what I'm saying, with the uh with the with the title shop for having this uh having a regular belt, you know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, I can see that that that's still he can hold court with that title. He can he can do some things with that title, but I think that the fight that will actually bring fire back to his name is the Dillian White fight. Now, going and get that belt from Trevor Bryan, yeah, he can go and you know, you know that that does give him some credibility. Like you know, somebody gonna have to fight him, but I think to put him back in the firefight, you know, between them two, AJ and Fury, the Dillian White fight to me is very necessary also he can fight that guy you know you just mentioned Trevor Bryan that's a good fight for him too just to get a title but because Dylan yeah, White cause right now you know that's a that's a great fight for him in my opinion I mean shit I, mean, I would love to see it you know what I'm saying because uh 
you know, they, they had a back and forth, you know what I'm saying, for the past few years, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely a fight to be made, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, uh, Wilder already been on damn near uh, – he's been on a hell of a layoff, man. He's been off since, uh, you know what I'm saying, what was it, what, February of uh, 2020? Ain't no telling when he really going to come back. So, you know what I'm saying, we really want to, you know what I'm saying, put him in there with uh with Dillian White right off red. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dillian, Dillian been working. You know what I'm saying? Like, win or lose, he's been working. And it's hard to come back, you know what I'm saying, find some big heavy ass motherfucker. Yeah, Dylan been doing his thing, you know, then coming back off that um victory over, you know, um Pulled up and like that, you know, that's yeah. uh Those that's good real ones. good. Um, so right now, you know, that, that's why I say that's a good fight for Wilder, because right now Dylan White hot. You know, then he get a chance, you know, to get in line, you know, to fight the undisputed champion if he should beat Dillian White. So that's what that's what I feel Wilder should be on right now. But that was a good mention, like I said, of you the guy Trevor Bryant. I uh, like to welcome on uh, Chain with Ice to the panel. How you doing, yeah, Chain? Good. Hey, How y'all doing? What up, Chain? Yeah, what up? Would you had something to talk about, uh, Chain with Ice? Go ahead, let us know. Nah, just on Wilder versus White. That's a good What's fight. He need, well, he needs something better than White. A good name to get him back up there. He ain't about to get the Fury rematch. He trying to go after AJ. Wilder needs. What do you something. think? Huh? What do you think is the next best potential fight for Deontay Wilder? If not White, or if he can't give. He can't get who? If he can't get white or if or what are you talking about? If he can't get white or who else? Who do you think is just the next potential fight for him to line up? He should get uh Parker, Reese, Fury. If he I don't can. think Parker will I don't think Parker will fight Deontay Wild. That's one heavyweight that's never mentioned Deontay Wilder's name. Nah, they uh, he spoke his name oh. before. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, he spoke on him before. Yeah, they ain't never make they ain't never make that fight happen. But uh, I remember uh, he, he you know what I'm saying he he, he brought up Wilder, said he'd be inter interested in fighting him. But uh, he went the uh, he went the AJ route. Oh yeah, this was the time oh, yeah. probably when, bigger fight. When, this money. was the time probably when he held the title, right? Yeah. Before he lost, yeah, yeah, I can see, yeah. So he probably did say he wanted a piece of wild or wild. He will fight wild, but I don't, you know, I don't think I, so. I, I, you know what? I, I know uh, Cass. I know Cass don't really want to see the uh, the Trevor Bryan fight, man. But you know what I'm saying? Like you know, you know, Wild gonna have he gonna have to have a warm up, bro. He gonna have to have a warm up, and uh, 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 on top of that as well, too, man. The uh, even though the white fight is really, you know, what I'm saying that's that's really a dope fight. You know, what I'm saying. Uh, uh, Wilder got Andy Ruiz on this side of the fence, you know what I'm saying? Me, on PBC, and that's a money let me fight. Ask man. This. What does, does um AJ must hold a super WBA title, heavyweight yeah. title? Yep, oh, shit. yeah, with the super, uh, with the super, with the super is how you unify, you unify with the super, yeah, but that super shit, bullshit. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know what? I think they give you like eighteen months. You know what I'm saying? Like they give you like an eighteen months before you got to do a mandatory with that super shit. But you know, it ain't as bad. That's as that why Don King, King set it up. Shit, some bullshit. That's and, and why Don King set it up for the WBA title that Trevor Bryan got because that's the real WBA title. Yeah, that's not the one with that yeah, that's the one with the lineage. The regular belt, the world, the world belt is the one with the uh, with the lineage. But at the same time, too, I mean, the way the way you unifies with the super, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the same belt Pacquiao had. Pacquiao had the super belt. You know what I'm saying? That's how you uh, that's how you uh, unify. That's not the way you. That's not the way you super unify. You can unify without a super belt because that was the first belt that the regular WBA. You can unify with that too. You didn't have to have a super belt back in the day to unify with anybody. Them, yeah, that them, was the them, real that was the actual belt. Super Nowadays. belts, them super belts and them franchise belts and all them diamond belts and all that bullshit is fake. 
That shit is flu gay. It's, with the regular it's, it's like somebody walking up to you with it's like it's like somebody walking up to you with a diamond meter on it and then hold on go up nowhere. Cause they bullshit. The regular not, titles you, are the real titles. You can't uh but they ain't let you go undisputed regular? with them. Dude. Real shit, bro. You can't go, you can't go, you can't uh you can't go undisputed with they, the they making titles. it that way now. They make they making it that way now where you can go undisputed with super titles and franchise titles. But back in the day there was no such yeah, thing as exist. super fucking titles and franchise titles. They did not exist. So the regular belts are the real belts. That's why they are telling Tia Fimo Lopez that Devin Haney is the real WBC this champion. Is with the franchise because he holds the real the WBC fucking belt. And the WBA super are different. And that way they that's different. What Mauricio, that's what they tell you. Is y'all listen? It's people. Listen, bro. It is no bullshit. The real shit. That's what Mauricio Suleiman is telling people now. The regular belts, the one that Trevor Brian got, the belts that are like that, are the real official fucking belts. These franchise belts and all that other shit is made up. But Mauricio Suleiman, he is telling people that them holes is real. Because he making money off them hoes. But if you go off the old rule of boxing, those are not real official belts. The regular well, belts, the WBC regular belt, the, the WBA, the IBF, the WBO are the real belts. That franchise shit is flu gazing. Yeah, I give you, like I give you that dime. easy work. I give I give you that easy work with the franchise. You're absolutely right. Because with the franchise belt, that shit is non-transferable. They can get that shit to whoever they want to give it now to. Now it is. It's transferable. Now that's that's yeah. see, that's that fuck shit. But uh they, but, they're but, just going they're just making stuff up as they go. They didn't really but, they should have the thought w, about it from the start. But the WBA Super Belt been around for what what the past well, it's been around since, Ten years. Uh, since yeah, since it's been around since Floyd was uh was fighting, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I mean uh and, and, and when Floyd retired, uh what Keith got elevated, Keith got elevated to uh to super belt as super belt as well, right? If I'm not mistaken. So I mean, like it's I mean, like the super belt is a little bit more credible than the uh than the franchise. The yes, franchise yes, is completely yes, bullshit. And they, and they created that fake ass belt for Floyd to duck key. They made that fake ass belt for Floyd to duck key. No, that's when that super around. belt at forty seven was first made for Floyd Mayweather. Floyd was the first. It, it been around before. To then. hold that title, they just. No, it was. Go ahead, Shane. Go ahead, Shane. They had they had the WBA the Super WB, title. The Super not title created. existed before. Floyd Mayweather was the first one to receive that title. It's like what they did with Lomachenko. Okay. They gave they gave him the WBC Lomachenko. Super. Lomachenko. But the title, huh? I said at 47. 147. Floyd was the first to receive that title. Oh, yeah, yeah. They gave that belt to Floyd because Floyd did not want to fight Keith Thurman as his mandatory. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, but you had, but at the same time too, they they elevated him to a super belt champion. But I mean, he he got the he he actually won the lineal belt. You know what I'm saying? He just elevated his status to being a super belt champion. You know what I'm saying? But uh 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 um uh um you know the lineage was was still with was still with Floyd low key until he retired, and, that, and that's when it got transferred over to uh. Transferred over to uh to Thurman. Yeah. The super belts, the franchise belts are nothing more than duck belts, y'all. That's all they are. They duck belts. They're not help, they're not to make mega fights, they're not to make super fights. The franchise and all these other shit are duck titles. That's for a, a, a fighter who they feel or a supreme or a fighter who sell tickets, who don't want to fight somebody. He doesn't have to have a mandatory. Y'all See, heard that, that before, that, right? That ain't that ain't that ain't true with the super. But the super belt does have mandatory. It just they uh they got an eighteen month period before they, they uh, did they mandatory when it started. They got they got the they got super. they got mandatory. Man, the super belt got mandatory. It's an eighteen month. It's eighteen month period. Not when they started. The no, it's not a mandatory. They have to fight within an eighteen month period. It's not a mandatory. Okay. They have to fight between an eighteen month period. All in all, even with all that being said, right? All right, when uh when Floyd retired, the super belt status got transferred over to uh to Keith Thurman. So Keith Thurman was the super belt champion. 
And when when he lost, you know what I'm saying, to Pacquiao, Pacquiao was Super Bowl champion. Now, uh, uh, Ugas had had got the regular belt, but you know the lineage wasn't even, when the lineage wasn't with Ugas. The, the lineage was, was was still with uh with Pacquiao. And until he got until he got stripped, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, uh, he had the lineage. And now what? Uh, Ugas is now the super the super belt uh the super belt champion in the WBA, right? So I mean, really. It's still staying consistent. You know what I'm saying? I, I agree with you with the whole the lineage, you know the lineage, the lineage is still with Keith Thurman. You said what Keith Thurman was Keith Thurman had the regular WBA title. Keith Thurman right. was elevated to super welterweight. So Keith Thurman has the lineage of the WBA belt. But Keith Keith Thurman got beaten, got beaten, uh got beaten the ring. So it went to Pacquiao. Then who else? Then whoever has the WBA title right now has the lineage, because that's the real belt. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? Because Pacquiao got stripped, and that went to U that went to Ugas. Mm -mm. Right now, Ugas the super belt champion. No, no, the belt. No, the belt. The belt that Ugas just had. That's the real belt. U well, matter of fact, I was wrong. Ugas was the last fighter to have the lineage. And whoever had whoever finna fight for that WBA title that you just let go of, they finna have the lineage. That franchise WBA belt is a fake belt. They don't let they you are unify not real. with that belt though. Yeah, you can't, you can't, unify. They, you can't yeah. unify with the you we can't, can't unify unif with the regular belt. God damn. You can unify with it now because they are telling people that in the nineties, though it was no such thing as no supers. No franchise. Yeah, it was the main belt, and now the, now the super belt is what they consider oh, okay, the main then. belt. Exactly. Okay, listen. If those belts didn't exist, then so that means the old belts are the what? Official fucking belts, right? Nope. Nah. See the w, the WBA yeah, and the WBC is that. different. The WBA and the WBC is different in that way. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, uh, there is no regular WBC belt. You got a world title belt. You know what I'm saying? Which is the lineal yeah. belt, the one that the one that you unify with. And that's the one that Devin Haney belt has. Devin Haney, hold. Devin Haney got the world title. The world the WBC, WBC, WBC world title. He has so, the regular world title. They don't call WBC they don't call they don't call they don't call, they don't call, the they don't call it the regular. They don't call it the regular. They call it they don't call, call it, it that title. anymore. Listen to what I'm saying. They don't call it that anymore because they have to sell them damn belts. But if you if look, I'm this is all I'm saying to it like this. I understand what y'all are saying. Y'all saying that under now the rules of now you can unify with them titles. Yes, because they are saying it. But if you go back to the old part of boxing before all these fake ass titles showed up, the old belts are the official belts. Right, and, and, and just and they, why don't they let you unify with those? This, this, I want this to know what I'm saying. Agree with you with. What I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. That's why they are telling Teofimo Lopez, who has the super or the franchise WBC belt, that Devin Haney is the real WBC champion because he has the official, regular, world WBC title. This is before all that shit came out. So to, to, to people who have been knowing boxing, the official belt is what Devin Haney holds. That shit that you, your Easy female work. got is some plaster. Yeah, I agree with you, Easy Work. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm trying to let you know where we agree yeah. at and then where we differ at. See, oh, I would right. say I like, agree I'm, on I'm, the I'm, WBA, though. Yeah, the, w, the WBC world title belt, the one, that, the, the one that, that you can unify with, the one that Devin Haney actually has, is the equivalent to the super belt. I'm not the super belt is not the, the WBA super belt. The uh the WBA super belt and the WBC franchise belt are not equivalent to each other. You know what I'm saying? The the, the French the WBC franchise belt is more of a you know a, somewhat they, they would call a status. That's why you got uh even uh 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 Canelo Alvarez, he the franchise champion at uh at 160, but he ain't really got no real title over there, he ain't even campaigning over there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the French the franchise shit is just really just some <laughs> some fuck shit, but the w but the w but the WBA super belt is a legitimate title. You know what I'm saying, and it has been getting transferred over in combat. You know what I'm saying, and the, the proper way is it should it should have been getting transferred but, over ever since Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying, retired. 
But all I'm saying is, is that that belt been created was was established in Floyd Mayweather era. That super shit was established in Floyd Mayweather. This is not an old. This is some two thousand shit. This is not no nineteen nine. I ain't no new. I ain't no new boxing fan. That's all I'm saying. I agree with you. I agree with you one hundred percent. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is it was consolidated when when Floyd when Floyd Mayweather retired. You know what I'm saying? It was consolidated with the with the the actual real world title once uh, Floyd Mayweather retired and uh, and uh, and Keith Thurman actually got the belt. You know what I'm saying? And once he once he got super belt status, you know what I mean? It's it's been you know consistent. You know what I'm saying? As far as the lineage, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it, 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 I'm just saying it differs from the WBC in that way. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Because uh um uh uh with, with, with Lomachenko, he actually lost his belt. You know what I'm saying? Before he was actually he was uh, able to to compete with Tiafima Lopez in in they bout. You know what I'm saying? So that belt, what that world title in the WBC wasn't on the line at that time. So I agree with you 100 on that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, yeah. The uh, the WB the WBA super is the one that you actually have to, you can unify with because that's why Ugas was already Ugas was already the uh, the regular belt at the WBA. He was already he already had the, the, the regular WBA belt. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't able to unify nothing. It just like a little a little a little the trophy belt. Tiafimo need to. I don't know what's going on with Tiafimo Lopez, but he better um. I hope he go out there and knock out this boy in um, a spectacular uh, fashion. Because if he don't, Bob Arum gonna pay him four hundred thousand dollars to fight. <laughs> and Devin Haney or oh, 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 motherfucking Ryan Garcia, because uh, Tiafimo the fucked up. He the fucked yeah, up. Yeah, Bob is spiteful right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Bob look like he really want to pick up Devin Haney for top rank if he can. <laughs> and he'll he'll gladly swap out uh swap out Tiafima Lopez if he can because he looked like uh he looking like uh you know what I'm saying he traded on him you know what I'm saying so he put himself in a fucked up situation. He must I, can't get, I can't get mad at him because he bet on himself at the same time too. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't really eating like that with Bob. I mean he's supposed to be eating like that, but Bob Aaron didn't like the fact that he beat his superstar. That's why Bob Aaron pissed off. Acting like a little hoe, he mad because he beat his superstar. Yeah, I did. Like that. I, told, I told y'all, Tio Tio name ain't uh Tio is Neo. He beat the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Neo gave him a good name. Neo for now, he beat the Matrix, and Bob don't like that shit for real. So, just think about it. When have you ever heard a fighter of any European descent having a, a money issue with Bob Arum or promotion issue? You know what, man? Lomachenko never really sold that well, bro. He wasn't really making them no money like that. You know what I'm saying? Like but, Bob was trying to put the house on this cat, but he wasn't really making no. He wasn't really, you know, what I'm saying, getting eyes on but, the screen like that. When when did you ever hear Lomachenko say he wasn't getting paid what he wanted? Uh, never, never. Yeah, yeah you never. see what I'm saying. But yet you you see Crawford, you see everybody else going through promotional, advertising, public, all um, promotional issues with him. But yet you ain't never heard no European fighter he ever had of Caucasian descent ever have no problem with him having. Not that I can recall. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, so it's just that in plain sight. You know, I don't have to go into it like that. Yeah, I, 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 low key, man. Like, I don't even really see why, um, why Bob actually really was trying to, um, was really trying to, uh, um, make Lomachenko that that franchise. You know, what I'm saying top ranked person. You know, what I'm saying like he 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 didn't really speak the language of you know, what I'm saying of the people in America. You know, what I'm saying he couldn't really have that real media presence. I mean, he was inter- he he's an entertaining fighter to watch. But you know what I'm saying? Like he never really put eyes on uh he never put eyes on the screen like that. And if you look at somebody like Tiafima Lopez, somebody to be so young and be a dynamic fighter the way that he is, he got way more of a higher ceiling and you know what I'm saying, the more more potential than Lomachenko. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it seemed like to me that Lomachenko uh uh, uh that that uh Tiafima would actually be the better pick for your uh for your for your camp, for your stable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So 
I don't know, man. I feel like Bob might have dropped the ball, man. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You don't uh, you don't piss off the motherfuckers that you know what I'm saying. You really uh, you know what that saying? you need gonna make your yeah go, that you need gonna get you your bread and your butter. He dropping the ball on the wrong people. He should be fucking with Terrence Crawford like he's supposed to, man. That's what he dropped. Really dropping on he he Bob. You know Bob Aram is a stubborn motherfucker because he done had this shit happen to him over and over again. Well, he don't, he'll sit up there and do that stupid ass shit. And then they come out and, and get more money damn near than him. When all he had to do was get the fighters with the fuck. And he finna fuck up with Terrence Crawford when all he got to do is get a man a goddamn fight. That's simple. You could have did the shit for Floyd. Floyd left. Imagine how much money you would have still made if you just would have treated Floyd right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I did. He just, I did. He's stubborn as fuck. That's what it is. He just greedy and stubborn as fuck. And he ain't seen it yet. You know, like, Bob the type of character, you know what I'm saying, he, he bring you in, and, you know what I'm saying, and, he'll build you, know you saying, up. He'll bring you in, he'll build you but up. But he'll you know rob you near the end. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He's like, well, I put this money up, up front to make a name out of you. I'm going uh, I'm to I'm bleed you out type shit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and you know... When you about to leave me, what's the point of me promoting your ass? Right. I mean, he 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 bring, he, he bring the whole old school way of boxing and promoting to the game. You know what I'm saying? Like you get some kids off the street. You know what I'm saying? You you make a name out of them, put some eyes on them. You know what I'm saying? You build them up real good, and uh, you know, you might not have you might not have to put up. You know what I'm saying? Too much uh, as a fighter. You know what I'm saying? As far as invest as far as uh, invested in yourself. But the back end gonna be real crazy because uh he gonna get his he gonna get his bread his bread back he gonna get paid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he gonna he gonna he gonna treat you like uh he gonna treat you like big red off the five heartbeats. You know what I'm saying? He gonna <laughs> he gonna take you off the street, but he gonna shake your pockets down too. Yeah, that's and you know that was it. That's why cats leave him. You know what I'm saying? Cats leave him after that, but you know a, a, to a certain degree, it's almost a fair exchange because I mean you wasn't doing shit before. Him. And now you got a platform to do it. You got a platform that you're saying to you know to launch from. It was a situation where Terrence Crawford was uh, he was going to fight. I think it was Kale Brook or American, and Tan and um, Vasil Lomachenko had a fight coming up, and they had all this promotion for it. They're showing on ESPN, and even um, people you know, boxing fans and people you know who were in the sport, they were like. And even Terrence said this. He was like, all Bob had to do was at least show my fight. Terrence had a fight the next week against Khan or Kale Brook. No, it was Amir Khan. He didn't even promote it on um, Vasil Lomachenko's fight. And he's a top-ranked fighter. I remember that. There was no commercial, no advertisement or anything. But yet you sit up and you go out and tell the public that you won't, you don't make this and that off Terrence. But you a sorry ass promoter. I mean, honestly, I don't see even see why he made uh, Amir Khan uh, the uh, his uh, a pay per view fight. That was just that was sloppy, man. I think nah. he had to, he, he had to live and learn on that. It one, didn't man. even like, do good, did it? At all? No, nah, it all. did like a hundred something thousand. Yeah, I yeah, mean, honestly, man, the, a fight like that, man, you supposed to put on regular TV. Um, yeah. He was, he, he was better off trying to sell uh trying to sell uh uh Kel Brook as a um as a uh, pay per view more than the American. I mean, that was yep. just that was just that was just bad a bad strategy right there. I don't know what what that was about. But like I said, that's that's Bob motive. You know, when Bob see you on your way out the door, I'm I'm gonna um tighten a little. I'm gonna tighten up a little. Well, he been tightening up on Terrence Crawford. Well, see, people got this. Is what people got understand with Terrence. They never expected Terrence to be where he was at now. See, they would throw Terrence in there against ex-champions and shit and thinking he was just a step-up fight. And Terrence would beat their ass. That's what people not understand. When people be talking about his resume, who has he fought? Half the fighters that Terrence fought, they pushed him up against. They didn't even think he could beat them. And he whooped their ass. That's why he had what he had right now. You talking about you talking about at one forty seven or you talking about in general? In, the, in general, I'm talking about since his whole career, the press guys, the um, you know what I'm saying, the um, 
What's the motherfucking name who Danny Duck? The Postals. A lot of them fighters that um, Terrence Crawford fought, a lot of them guys, you know what I'm saying, they expected him to lose to. A lot of them guys, they just chose Terrence. You they weren't so? expecting him to. Yeah. He was, it was favorite, one fight. He was favorite sitting in all those fights, though. Yeah, no, he yeah, wasn't. Yeah. It was On one betting odds? Fight. No, he wasn't. It was one particular fight against, I think it was against Prescott or Breedis. It was one of them ex champions where Terrence just got um, called in to fight them. I think like the last, last man I think, the, to fight them. I think the last fight and that, he beat him. Uh, I think the last fight that uh, Terrence Crawford might have been the underdog game might have been the Gamboa fight. Yeah, maybe Gamboa. No, 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 no. It, it wasn't Gamboa. Mm -hmm. Nah. Breeders Prescott. That's who it was. Thank you, Young B. Young B in there. Come on the panel. Breeders Prescott. He, he they called him in on last notice, ex champion. And he beat the shit out of Breeders Prescott. I remember them. I remember that. That's, way, that's, man. that's how team. Oh, I we got think, Ace Money coming up. Oh. oh, that's what's up. Ace Money, what's happening? Yo, what's up with it, Easy? Hey, what up, H Money? What up, Chain with Ice? Shout out to everybody in the chat. My brother, a young billionaire. Shout out to everybody on the panel. Um, it was a great day of boxing. I want to give a um, you know, congratulations to Jamel Heron. He looked phenomenal tonight. A, a knockout victory. Showed off the power. Beautiful uppercut. You know, he had uh, Carl Frampton doing his stanky leg or the, or, or the funky chicken. Whatever dance you want to call it, man. <laughs> that man looked like he was doing the, uh, the Harlem Shake in the ring, man. You know what I mean? Because this boy right here, Jamel Heron, showing that he's the real deal. Now, Jamel Heron, he called out Oscar Valdez. That's a fight that I would love to see. I think Jamel Heron made a statement tonight, and he retired Carl Frampton. Put I him want, out of the business. <laughs> I want to see Tank. I want to see Tank versus Oscar Valdez, man. That's the fight yeah, I want to see. Tank. Tank, got legal, Tank got them legal issues. And on top of that, Tank, uh, you know, it's no telling what weight he going to fight at. Is it going to be at 135, 130, or 140? Oh, oh yeah. 130. Yeah. But I think Jamel Heron versus uh, Oscar Valdez, that's an easy fight to make. And that's a unification fight. Know. You know what I mean? Yeah, Both on top. Oh, yeah. On the same it network, is. that's a great fight. Tank hey, gonna, tank gonna fight. fight at one thirty. I mean one forty because like, he too stressed out to try to lower some weight. His if he do fight next, it's gonna be he gonna fight Barrio. He ain't gonna he ain't gonna make no weight right now. Who gonna make weight and you worry about whether or not you finna get seven years? <laughs> well, he probably can. Cause stress so <laughs> stressing so hard. Yeah. Hey, hey, he probably that fight can. between Heron and uh, and Valdez. Man, that's a good fight, man. To be honest with you, I don't know what to think now after after Jamel Heron's performance. It's like Jamel Heron is starting to get stronger at 130 pounds. And keep in mind, Bo he's May. five eleven. What was that? Bo Mac. Yeah, Bo Mac too. But I mean, Bo Mac is a very good trainer. You got to respect Bo Mac and uh, Team Terrence Crawford, of course. But uh, I think that uh, Jamel Heron been showing off some power lately because in his last fight, he dropped Okendo about three times in that fight and now he just knocked out Carl Frampton and we know Oscar Valdez he can be hurt Scott Quigg, he dropped Oscar Valdez and broke his jaw, you know so mm -hmm. I think it's a 50-50 fight but I'm going to lean towards right now uh, I, I, man, it's tough, man because <clears throat> Heron looked good but Heron got two yeah. losses Jamal Heron He's been stopped before, but I think he's a better fighter. I think he learned from his losses, to be honest with you. So I think it's a 50-50 fight. Right now, I'm going to go, man, I don't know, man. I can't even pick. The same, Yo, mind you, mind the you same man, mistake like, uh, that uh, people. The same mistake that people. Herring is already 35 years that, old, too. So oh, yeah, the same he's getting older. He's getting up the there. Same, he's getting better, the though. same mistake that people made with Oscar Valdez versus Birch. Show is they forget that they look at Oscar Valdez and see that you know what I'm saying he he aggressive and he can come forward. 
but people didn't see the fact. If y'all watch my video, y'all see that I predicted that fight exactly right because people knew people misunderstood that Valdez can also box, bro. That little motherfucker is some serious man. So people just counting him out so. against Harry. Harris, Heron, Heron, in my opinion, of course he was going to beat um, Carl Frampton. Carl Frampton, his only offense was to be able to come in because he's so short and his own, his reach is not that long. So, of course, he's going to catch him with an uppercut. I've been saying it. But going against Valdez, somebody who's aggressive, then he can fight off the back foot and box, that's going to be a dangerous-ass fight for Jamel, y'all. I'm telling y'all, that boy but Harry can box, bro. <clears throat> Harry can um, box. Harry's Austin way Valdez. taller than Valdez. Let, let me Austin just say this Valdez easy. Valdez about five. He's about five four. He's five four. He's four. He's he five four me of a small He throws everything from his hip. He throw everything to hurt his opponent. Oscar Valdez ain't no fucking joke, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Don't count him out just because he's a black guy. Jamal Heron showed he ain't no joke today. And I got to say this real quick, though. Yeah. Jamal Heron is 5'11". Oscar Valdez is 5'4". So uh, Jamal yeah, Heron, what is going to be Valdez? But we didn't see this boxing, man. These size, that, that ain't no... We never know. It may be a, a, a hell of a body attack. We don't know. You see what I'm saying? Until they fight. We don't know, but all I'm saying is, I'm not saying that Jamel can't beat or stop Oscar Valdez. All I'm saying is that if that fight should happen, Jamel should not sit up there and just look at that shit and go to talking about some man. That boy throw Oscar Valdez is a warrior, bro. That boy a warrior. He throw he throw with his soul into it. He fight with his soul. Um, all right, just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. But, but they, that's going to be a good-ass fight. Even hey, against you know, cool. another Another issue is, you know what I'm saying, at 130, man, how long is Stan going to be able to hold that uh, Going to be able to hold that belt, you know what I'm saying, with him having these legal problems too, man? You think they're going to strip him eventually? Yeah. I think they're gonna strip him, but at the end of the day, it ain't gonna matter. It ain't gonna make him look bad because everybody know he's going through this, you know, situation. So it's it's not gonna hurt him. I mean, yeah, get the belt. I can't, you know, if I, you know, right now, too much can't hurt Tank because he got a, he got a, a bigger issue than boxing going on. You see what I'm saying? See, like right now, we could sit up here and say, oh, Tank need to be doing this and Tank need to be doing that. This man is facing seven years. You know what I'm saying? And he, his mind probably ain't on boxing right now. You know what I'm saying? Your yeah, our a, mind would be on boxing. My yeah. mind wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Now, I obviously, that's, yeah, that's, I got to pay for these court cases. So yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got the goddamn seven years. It's hard to do a push up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all to run around the track when I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I need to be trying to enjoy myself. Shit, I'm gonna go do seven years. Hey, truth be you told, man, he, truth be told, you probably need to go ahead and uh, and, and do a uh, do a busy fight. You know what I'm saying? To get just to get some paper up under his belt, uh, up under his belt, man, because litigation is expensive. You know what I'm saying? Especially you, you fighting all the different charges and shit, man. They gonna want they they gonna want they pound of flesh. Yeah, just, whether, he, whether he go to jail or not. I just seen on you on YouTube, uh, Irv Guy that said he spent ten ten million dollars to fight the feds. So you know, of course, you're gonna need. Look at Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner had to come back to the game. You know what I'm saying? Out of retirement, so oh yeah, call uh, retirement to get that money. Up. Still oh, some girl, a hundred and some eight hundred thousand dollars. Eight hundred some thousand. I don't know what he did to her, bro. He said he touched or something, grabbed or something. They was in the mall, and he man, he had to pay this girl eight hundred some thousand dollars, man. No, that's what he owed total, like all his bill, like everything. See, they gonna they that's what he gotta pay. Yeah, they gonna they gonna want to make an example out of Tank on some on, on some real. They gonna want to make an make an example out of him. 
I don't think you finna go to jail for no seven years, especially not for no damn traffic violations. I mean, a lot of that shit gonna just, you know what I'm saying, his, his, his lawyer's gonna be able to make that shit go away over time or whatnot. But he gonna, he gonna have to pay, man. And he gonna be, he gonna be dealing with the courts and shit for, you know what I'm saying, for a couple of years probably. Let me see what Sir Ray, Sir Ray say. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, I don't know how to say, but he said Crawford uh, said Porter don't have a belt. How many dudes has Crawford fought who had a belt? Oh, here we go with this shit. God damn. Fuck. There's a point there. there ain't no point. They just say this shit because they when it comes to the goddamn uh, Spence fight. Well, I'll when you like fight Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. We'll see. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. What? All right, as far as far as when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, questioning uh Crawford's resume and shit like that, uh even at 140, man, Cat said it was it wasn't the strongest division, you know what I'm saying, at the time. And it wasn't it wasn't the same division as as uh as uh Danny Garcia was dealing with when he was at 140. And I and granted all that might be true, but uh undis undisputed means something, man. When you actually say, Well, a person undis I mean, undisputed, you know what I'm saying? It's undisputed, man. I mean everybody that was there that was worked for them, you know what I'm saying, I beat. You know what I'm saying? So Cat's gonna have to give uh Crawford a break on that shit. Yeah. You know, like I said, man, it's just some people be saying, man, you know, just don't want to give no credit to them because they're afraid of the fight with uh Errol Spence Jr. That's all it is. You know, who is he fought? Fuck who is he fought. Let's make this fight. Then you can say he fought Errol Spence. That go the same thing with Canelo. They going the same way with the Charlo brothers right now. Okay. He's the same motherfucker going around talking all this shit, but they don't want to fight nobody. How they gonna ever have somebody on their resume when the people who supposed to fight them don't want to fight them? It's ridiculous. Word, I dig. Hey, hey, man, easy, easy work, man. Thanks for having me. I want to, uh, you know, what I'm saying, stop out on you again some other time, bro, but. Uh, I really think you know what I'm saying Wilder probably gonna uh, he gonna try to um, he gonna try to target uh, Trevor Bryan man I, I see that coming in the future bro but salute to you man hey, you have a good one man yeah that's, yeah and I, that, that's a good point man I thank you for bringing that on too man you be safe man and thank you for coming on the panel yes sir uh, time to go all right bro see you. nah I ain't finna get over yet oh he just mounts. It's free, Pigeon Mike. But Pigeon Mike, I don't want. Yeah, I invite you on, Pigeon Mike, because I hear you with that crybaby ever spent shit. <laughs> Spence fans in the chat. Yeah, same thing. For, same thing for Demetrius Andrade. He can't get fights. They sit out here and say, "Who is he for? Who is he this? He had Who? opportunities. How, though? how you gonna get a? Uh, he has to get the people." To, to want to fight him. He can't make them fight him. He can't walk in a room and after a fight he with a pistol in his hand and say, Lyle. sign the contract. Jamel. Why y'all think Jamel? Why y'all think Jamal doing this Corbin. big ass outburst? Why y'all think four Jamal fights is doing this big ass outburst? God damn, you gonna let me talk, champ? <laughs> I talk. Why do you think Jamal is doing this big ass outburst? Of all this bullshit talking about somebody being blacklisted, it's simply because they don't want to fight him. That's all it is. I mean, he did pull out of the fight with his brother. There's an excuse there. Y'all still talking about that bullshit. <laughs> what the excuse now? They, he ain't trust him to stay in the fight. He pulled out of the fight with his brother. How we know? How he know he ain't gonna pull out of this fight? I'm talking about today. This, this is 2021. This is 2021. Where is okay. the excuse today? Why won't they fight him today? What's the problem now? Because he might pull out. What's the issue now? Oh, he, he might, might pull, pull out of the okay. fight, just like he did with his brother. This bullshit. They, they ain't, ain't even the... said that. They ain't even said that shit. They, they didn't say that, but it's obvious. 
No, nah, that ain't obvious because they ain't said. <laughs> yeah. They, they ain't watch it. They they are actually the one who's gonna have to fight him. It ain't they ain't said it out their mouth. Oh, the reason we ain't finna fight him is because we afraid he gonna pull out. We ain't heard that from them. They saying other shit. Bullshit. Oh, what logic say? Logic. Andrade GG are avoiding each other because they are friends to land. Canelo fight while a boy and legacy fight. I would put Jacobs in there. I would say that Andrade is avoiding Charlo. I would say that. I would say that. I would say that Triple G is avoiding both of them, Charlo and Andrade, um, as well as Canelo. Um, but I say this though, um, uh, when it comes to the business side of boxing, Andrade, Charlo, um, and Canelo don't have no, no reason to fight them if you want to put a business side in, in, in front of them, because due to, to the fact of the lack of resume, and people may disagree with this because it's the Charlo brother. But the Charlo brother really hasn't given Canelo a reason to fight him. The only fighter right now that I can see Canelo really getting um, hyped up to even want to fight is David Benavidez. And that's just because he's hot right now. But Charlo ain't fought nobody to make a fight. Like Floyd told Canelo, you got to fight somebody to make me want to fight you. You got to make the public make us want to fight. Charlo hasn't done that. Charlo just screaming out names. Demetrius Andrade is screaming out he wants Charlo, but you got to think about the business point, of, which I don't like to put the business. Y'all never hear me talk about the business point. But when you think about the business point of it, it ain't Demetrius Andrade's fault. But with Charlo, I say it's his fault. They ain't giving him, they ain't give, they give Canelo nothing. They don't offer him nothing. Even though his unification is on the line, but he used that as an excuse, the business side. And that's why people always ride with the business side. Because that's a good what that's a good excuse, but if you actually look at it, it's still duck. No, they don't. They don't, they don't offer him much money on the business side of it. They don't offer him much money. But when you really look at it, it's still ducking. It's still ducking. I think he meant they, they not fighting each other. That and that could be it too. I mean that's still a way of saying it. Here's too, my take. Why would ahead. why would uh why would what Eddie Hearns have Billy Joe Billy Joe and Plant I mean Callum fight when he can make more money if Canelo fights both of them? What would Al Heyman have? David and Plant fight when he can just make more money having Canelo fight both of them. Mm. Al Heyman ain't trying to like make those fights either. Sure. He ain't pushing for them. Yeah, it's still it's still considered ducking, man. Uh -huh. Any way you want to put it, it's considered ducking. What do you think Jacobs should do? Daniel Jacobs, what the fuck is he even doing? I ain't um, heard nothing about Daniel Jacobs. Me neither. Where is Daniel Jacobs? Where is Kid Chocolate? Roman Gonzalez? No. Queen, um, what's his name? So he's been gone so long, you can't even remember his name. Um, 160, I think 154 pound, 
name. You there, Easy? Yeah, I'm here. What were you saying? Peter Quillen. Peter Quillen. Thank you, young billionaire. His um, name is Peter Quillen. Where the hell is he? Then he, he just managed to disappear. Huh? Last I heard of him, he got knocked out. Yeah, he been disappearing a lot. Last time I, I see him a lot on Twitter, he put a lot of Bible posts and stuff like that up on there. Uh, I don't know if he didn't change his life around or whatever it may be, but shout out to him if he has, you know. But uh, I don't hear too much about Peter Quillen no more in the sport of boxing. Uh, no potential fights coming up, no names called out for him, no nothing with him. But um, like I said, I see him on Twitter all the time. And, you know, that's the path he didn't chose. My brother, may God bless you, and I hope you can continue to follow that path. You, know. you said Peter Quillen be posting Bible posts? Yeah, on Twitter. He posts a lot of stuff, oh. you know, about, you know, God mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, you know, shout out to him. Okay, hey, let me ask you this, Chain, right? Yeah. So if, let's just say Terrence don't fight, you know, Manny Pacquiao. You know, do you okay. think they still going to hate on the fact if he gets Sean Porter too? Like if if Pacquiao don't fight him and then they say, oh, well, Porter and, and they make it official, Sean Porter going to fight him. It's official. They're going to hate on that. That too. Do you feel that? Maybe. Depending on why it didn't happen, they might try to blame it on Crawford or something. And and then they're gonna say they're gonna say Porter wasn't the same Porter that fought that fought Spence if Crawford was to beat him. Yeah. So either way it go it look like he gonna lose in that situation. Yeah. But, you know, I got to give a shout out to Bushido Boxing. Uh, he one of my friends on Facebook. He made a video about that. And, you know, you could really see that it's a lot of Errol Spence fans out there. You know, uh, the bandwagon Errol Spence fans. Yeah. You know, the, uh, the channels, the bandwagon PVC channels, the Al Heyman channels, Floyd Mayweather channels. You know, those guys out there. That, and they really do not want this fight to happen. Lord forbid that. Terrence Crawford can even be considered on this so-called A side or B side playing field that they choose to put in front of this fight. You know, because uh, basically if uh, Terrence goes out there in some people's mind and beats uh, Manny Pacquiao, he trumps Errol Spence's entire resume. And in actuality, you can actually agree to that, but at the end of the day, in my opinion, it means nothing. It just means that Terrence beat Manny Pacquiao, and y'all yeah. both should fight for 50 50. Y'all both should fight for 50 50 from jump, like it should have been from the situation, from the whole start of, of the situation. If Pacquiao it's, not gonna change, it's not going to change anything because Errol still is the number one welterweight because he holds two titles. But yeah. it just means that both of y'all are hot. And both of y'all should take this fight for 50 50. Or do it like somebody I seen a clip. Nah, in I, Google. Think, I do think Smith should they, be the A side. I seen a clip in Google where they were saying that um, Bob Arum or somebody was offering and saying, or Triller was offering and saying that they both take 40 or 40% 40 a piece. And the winner oh, yeah, gets the other. You seen that? Yeah. Now, now that's now who now how can you argue with that? Can't. How can Spence argue with that? Now they that's that's a um a situation of confidence. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If Spence I really a, feel like I can beat you, Spence I'll take is that a bigger off. star though. No, we're not talking about that right now. See, that has nothing. See, that's what y'all do all the time with that shit. That has nothing to do with the situation. He should be if getting Trillo, No, 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 no. 
if Trilla came reviews. out right now and Trilla offered them and said, Terrence, we'll give you 40%, Errol, we'll give you 40%. And whoever wins, get the other 20%. And then we're going to throw in, let's just say we're going to throw in some extra for the winner. Okay. All that other shit ain't nothing else to talk about. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nothing else That's to talk cool. about that. But. Yeah. Whichever one of them don't take that fight, then they just didn't want to fight. That's all it is. Because how can you not? If I'm sure I'm going to win, hell yeah. Even if I doubt I'm going to, I'm, I'm still getting paid. Air, arrow is stopping that fight, man. Oh, what well, well, logic say? Uh, would you rather see? Would you rather see Crawford Thurman than Crawford Porter? And again, would you like to see Crawford Porter? I already yeah, know Porter, how Crawford Porter, Porter just Porter had a fight. Thurman been out for a minute, so yeah, I'd rather see Porter. Yeah, I'd rather see Porter. No, not Thurman right now. Thurman been off too long. That ain't the that ain't the, yeah. the right keep. I want to see. But uh, Porter, I keep telling y'all, go and watch Terrence Crawford versus Felix Diaz. It's that that's gonna be the same fight. It's gonna even be worse because you gotta remember Felix Diaz was at least a two time Olympian. If I am mistaken, one time Olympian gold medalist or two time. Yeah, he was an uh, Olympian gold medalist in boxing. So um, imagine what he'll do to Sean Porter. Yeah. And uh, right. Diaz, he was a better boxer than Sean Porter. Yeah. Just go back and watch. Crawford versus Diaz Jr. And that's basically how you'll figure it all out, baby. Mm-hmm. Man, I need to give me something to eat. <laughs> Getting late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, man, you know, time for me to go and get up off here, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, please subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. I like to welcome my guest, Chain with Ice, and the many others who came on, you know, A Town, um, and some old people. You know, I can't can't go all in right now. H Money, yeah, shout out to H Money. Y'all subscribe to H Money, you know, good channel out there, you know. Uh, he also into uh, UFC and boxing. Subscribe to H Money. And, you know, I thank y'all just for tuning in, man. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell and just stay tuned. And I thank y'all for y'all time. I'm out.